Thanks for watching Hack Skills and Mods. They were talking about the good old Alice pack. Now, mine is a large. Um, the mediums are good. I've actually seen a small, but it's on a rare occasion. Um, I carry the large because you've got space if you need it. Uh, you just have to fight the tendency to fill that up before you leave home because you can make a pack meal out of yourself really easy. But this video is actually about modifications. Um, the Alice pack is a good pack. It's rugged and durable and, uh, you know, it's, its reputation is earned. So, uh, but there are a few things that are not ideal. Uh, first, on the Alice pack, um, and across the chest strap, they don't have one. So I got one, this is a camelback, and I got one, and I put on here, I tied it around the shoulder straps with paracord, um, and it, it works just fine. Uh, I do prefer the ones that have a quick release on both shoulder straps. Uh, I just think it's a good idea. Uh, I put an M16 mag pouch on the waist belt. By the way, if your pack, whatever it is, has a waist belt, use it. I've seen people tuck these things in here and not wear them. If you fall down a hill and land head down the hill and this slides up on top of your head, you're going to be amazed at how, how heavy uh, 40 pounds or less can be. Uh, you are It's like you're pinned to the ground by a gorilla or something. You can't get up for nothing until you get that thing off of you. Uh, when it's laying on the back of your head. There's a there's a saying in uh, self-defense and martial arts, uh, control the head, control the body. Wherever the head goes, the rest of the body's going to follow it. Uh, when your head is in a creek and this is laying on top of it, uh, you're going to have a really hard time getting up, and you may need help with it. So uh, wear, the, wear the waist strap. Uh, that'll keep it from sliding up on your head. Um, modifications. Sorry, got a little off topic. Not too many modifications, just the chest strap and uh, the, the straps that hold it shut. Uh, you have to feed them through and they stay attached and it's just kind of a pain in the butt to be honest with you. So what I did is I took these straps and I did not cut the strap, I just, this is folded over and sewn and that's to keep it from coming out of the buckle. Uh, it's supposed to stay in the buckle. So what I did is I cut the thread and I unfolded this so that it could come out of the buckle. And then I threaded a pinch buckle on it. Okay. Down here I took a piece of paracord and I put the other end of the pinch buckle. And what I did is I ran, I doubled the paracord around one side of the pinch buckle, ran both pieces through the loop. I left this buckle on there I don't like to modify things to the point that I can't return them to original if I need to, so I left this on. Anyway, I ran both pieces through here, ran one of them through the other side of the pinch buckle, and then tied it in a figure eight. And what that does is it, if you just tie it on one side or you don't run it through here, it'll cause it to slip to one side like that, and, uh, and it just really doesn't work correctly. Uh, having it separated by the loop here will keep it straight and working correctly. So anyway, that gives me a pinch buckle on an Alice pack. I put one on each side, and instead of having to go through the motions of, of unthreading all the strap and all that stuff and get, to get the flap out of the way, I simply pinch two buckles and the flap throws out of the way. And I personally think this puts the Alice pack on an entirely new level. Because I always hated feeding those uh, straps through these through these metal buckles. It was just a pain in the neck. They were stiff, or they got mud in them, and they were hard to pull through. It was a pain in the neck. So um, this way, uh, also the the pocket in here is where I carry my hydration bladder. Um, so they're very versatile and very rugged. Um, when you want to close it, simply pull your pinch buckles sl slack in your pinch buckles, buckle them and cinch them out. And there you go. Everything's cinched up nice and tight, and there you are. Uh, I usually fold these and tuck them down in here, where the uh, strap originates from, and keeps them out of the way, keeps them from flopping and getting hung on things. But anyway, that is the only two modifications I've made to the Alice pack. 
but you can get newer packs you can get more modern packs you can get packs with pinch buckles already on them um, you're going to pay pretty good for those uh, military surplus i think they run about 120 140 dollars for the new production and they're versatile and yeah that's great um, the civilian version you're probably looking at anywhere uh, if you, on the cheap side eighty dollars um, to probably 180. Uh, these I picked these up at yard sales and flea markets for 15 to 20 bucks uh, and as anything else on this channel uh, it's about doing things and doing them well on less money so I picked these up for about 15 20 bucks you can find pinch buckles for usually uh, two dollars for a set or a dollar a piece uh, depending on where you get them and uh, what grade they are uh, you do want to get good ones you don't want to get cheap pinch buckles because you don't want these coming apart on you when you don't need them to um, so anyway this is a uh, butt pack that is on here um, the Alice clips if you'll take bread bag ties and run through here they very quickly the uh, they secure the Alice clip very well and it can be done quickly. Um, these things have a tendency to walk apart under use, according to some people. So, uh, I like to uh, I like to have them tied with uh, bread bag ties as well as the standard Alice clip. Um, this butt pack can be taken off. Um, this is the latest version of the butt pack before they actually quit using them, and it has pinch buckles on the top flap for it. Um, this one, I have my vest rig set up to where I can put this on my vest rig and I can carry a hydration bladder in it, repel rope, you know, some food, whatever I need to. And it's a very small pack and it goes on my um, foot two vest. Um, if you're wearing the vest, you don't want the butt pack on the back of it. Or I'm sorry, if you're wearing the backpack with the vest, you can't have the butt pack on the back of it, so you put the butt pack on here. Um, that was part of the beauty of the Alice system. It's very quick and easy to rearrange things. On the, uh, the old uh, H or Y strap and uh, belt, the fighting load, uh, L, um, what they call it, LBE, load bearing equipment, um, the butt pack would go on the belt of the LBE, and if you put on a pack, you took the butt pack off and put it on the pack, and then put your pack on over your LBE. And when you took the pack off, if you needed what was in the butt pack, you just put it back on your belt. And the Alice clips make that quick and easy to switch things like that. Uh, Molly is great, and one thing about Molly is it will absolutely, even if it comes unsnapped, if you weave it through correctly, even if it comes up unsnapped, it's not coming off. Um, so that's a good thing, but it, it's kind of cumbersome to move things and change things around. The Alice clips are much quicker and easier. Um, so anyway... That is the extent of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Check out our friends at Hawk Creek Armory. They have great gun deals. They post them on Facebook. And uh, you better get them quick because they, they price them right and they go quick. Thank you to our veterans and our emergency service personnel for the job that you do. You folks have a wonderful day.